Well, hello, Kids Church. My name is Justin Willis. I'm the director here, and we're doing another video to just talk about uh, going through the early church. You know, that's what we've been talking about for the last several weeks, talking about the early church. And we're asking this important question. What is the church? What is the church? Well, the church is where all Christians everywhere gather together in communities to worship and serve God. And that's what we're talking about. We're trying to look through the book of Acts and some of these letters in the Bible that are also books of the Bible to just uh, to see that, right? So last week we talked about the stoning of Stephen who preached about Jesus no matter what. And this week we're going to be looking at the big picture letter of the book of Romans. So it's called the book of Romans, but it's really a letter to the people of Rome written by Paul, right? See, because Jesus' followers in the early church wanted to hear the good news about Jesus. God had kept his promise to send a savior. So when he sent his son, Jesus, to rescue sinners, people wanted to hear about this. They wanted to know about this. See, Jesus lived a perfect life, uh, a life we can't. And then he died a death so that we could live. And then on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead. The good news, the gospel, changes everything. People who love Jesus tell others about him because they want others to know. And that's what Paul did. Paul did this when he wrote the book of Romans, letting the people of Rome know about Jesus, that he was their savior who was waiting for them. So Paul wrote, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is, is, it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Everyone sins. You do it. I do it. Yeah, your parents do it. And because of that, all of us need to be rescued. God saves people because of the good news of Jesus, because of their faith. God forgives sin and promises us eternal life. But again, we all sin. He writes in the book of Romans, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Imagine you've got your bow and arrow target, right? You've got your, your white on the outside, and then on the inside it's blue, and then a little bit closer it's black, and then finally at the center you've got that gold bullseye, right? See, that's the mark that we have to hit, the mark of perfection, the mark of holiness. But this verse, Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short. It's like our arrow not only can't even hit the bullseye, it can't even get close to the target, Right? Because we all sin and fall short of perfection, of God's glory. And Paul's writing to remind the people, hey, you know, we're all like this. And we're all the way, we can trace that all the way back to the first man, Adam. See, when Adam sinned, death came into the world. Everyone uh, sinned, and so death spread to all people. God sent Jesus to bring a gift of life that is greater than the sin of Adam. Adam brought death, Jesus brought life. Adam disobeyed God, Jesus obeyed him perfectly. So does this mean we can keep sinning until we're forgiven? No, of course not. If we look at what Paul's letter says, he, he compares Adam to Jesus, and it's really important. Looking at Adam before and after he sinned helps us to see that God's creation is supposed to be like something. It's supposed to be God's good work. See, Adam was supposed to choose obedience to God, but instead he rebelled against God. Adam rejected God's authority and tried to become wise by eating the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. His sinful choice brought pain, it brought death, sadness, destruction into the world. But Jesus, on the other hand, chose not to sin. He chose to live a perfect life, and he showed us what it's like to obey God by displaying God's power and glory. Jesus submitted to the Father of authority, and despite being God's very Son, Jesus died on the cross. The death we deserve. His righteousness and sacrifice made the way for joy, peace, life, and restoration to come into the world through faith. 
through faith in him. So because God created everyone and everything, he is in charge of everything. Everyone sins, everyone disobeys God, and our sin separates us from God. But we have that good news, the good news of the gospel, that God sent his son, Jesus, to take the punishment we deserve. So when we talk about the church, we need to remember that everybody in the church is a sinner. So what is the church? The church is where Christians, even sinners, because all of us are sinners, all Christians are sinners everywhere, gather together in communities to worship God, worship and serve God, right? Because Jesus saved us. And so he deserves our worship, our obedience, our service. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this lesson. I pray that we can remember that we are all sinners. Yet despite that, you gave us the free gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I'm so thankful for this book of Romans where we can learn that. In your name I pray. Amen.